Prince Alexander, famed for his wisdom and compassion, was known throughout the kingdom as a potential ruler worthy of legend. Yet behind the facade of regal composure, a hidden longing brewed within him. One fateful morning, while exploring the palace's forgotten corners, Alexander stumbled upon a hidden chamber. Inside, bathed in dusty sunlight, lay a magnificent portrait of a woman. Her ethereal beauty and regal bearing captivated him instantly. The inscription below identified her as Princess Isabella of a neighboring kingdom. Alexander felt an inexplicable pull towards Isabella, and yearning so intense it consumed his thoughts. He began neglecting his duties, his once vibrant spirit dwindling with each passing day. His advisors, baffled by his sudden melancholy, grew increasingly concerned. One day, a renowned mystic arrived at the palace, seeking an audience with the prince. Alexandra, desperate for answers, readily agreed. The mystic, sensing the prince's turmoil, revealed a startling truth. Princess Isabella was not who she seemed. She is a mere figment of your imagination, the mystic declared, a reflection of your own desires. Alexander scoffed, refusing to believe such an outlandish claim. But the mystic persisted, weaving a tale of a forgotten ritual performed by a previous ruler, a ritual that blurred the lines between reality and illusion. Intrigued yet skeptical, Alexander delved into the palace archives, uncovering fragmented texts that confirmed the mystic's words. The ritual, known as the Mirror of Desire, allowed one to manifest their deepest desires, but at a steep price, the loss of self-awareness. Terror and realization washed over Alexandra. He was in love not with another, but with a fabricated image of himself. His desire for Isabella had blinded him to the truth. Desperate to break free from the illusion, Alexander sought counsel from the wisest scholars and spiritual masters. He embarked on a journey of self-discovery, exploring his hidden desires and confronting his true self. Through meditation and introspection, Alexander began to see the world with new eyes. He understood that his longing stemmed not from a lack of love, but from a misunderstanding of his own identity. He recognized and embraced his feminine aspects, realizing they were not a weakness but a unique part of his being. As he embraced his true self, Alexandra's love for the illusory Isabella faded. In its place bloomed a deeper understanding of himself and a newfound appreciation for the world around him. He returned to the palace a changed man, radiating a serene confidence that resonated throughout the kingdom. But Alexander's story is far from over. Whispers of a hidden power, a force that threatens to exploit the mirror of desire for its own nefarious purposes, begin to reach his ears. Now, Alexander must face a new challenge, protecting his kingdom from the dangers of a world where reality and illusion are dangerously intertwined. Will Alexander, armed with his newfound self-awareness, overcome this threat and restore balance to the land? The answer lies hidden in the mists of the future, waiting to be revealed. The whispers grew louder, reaching Alexander's ears like a sinister lullaby. They spoke of a hidden cult, the Order of the Veiled Mirror, seeking to exploit the mirror of desire for their own twisted purposes. They aimed to plunge the kingdom into chaos, manipulating desires and warping reality itself. Alexander knew he couldn't stand idly by, he had tasted the intoxicating power of the mirror firsthand and witnessed its destructive potential. He wouldn't let others fall victim to its seductive allure. With unwavering resolve, Alexander assembled a team of trusted advisors. The wise and learned Sage Alara, skilled in arcane knowledge and adept at discerning truth from illusion. The steadfast Captain Marcus, renowned for his unwavering loyalty and his expertise in combat, and the cunning rogue Lyra, whose wit and resourcefulness were matched only by her unwavering loyalty. Their journey led them to the forgotten ruins of a once great temple, where the Order of the Veiled Mirror was rumored to be operating. The journey was fraught with danger, each step fraught with illusions and deceit, Alexander's reliance on intuition and self-awareness grew with every test. Within the temple's deepest chambers, they found a swirling vortex of shimmering light, the very heart 
of the mirror of desire. The air crackled with raw power, and the very fabric of reality seemed to bend and twist around them. Leading the charge, Alexandra faced the leader of the order, a figure shrouded in darkness who called himself the Master of Illusions. Their battle was more than just a clash of swords. It was a battle of wills, a test of their very identities. Alexander's newfound self-awareness was his greatest weapon. He saw through the Master of Illusions' elaborate deceptions, and with each strike, he shattered the illusions that held his enemies captive. The battle raged on, pushing Alexander to his limits. But in the face of despair, he remembered the lessons he had learned. He embraced his true self, channeling his feminine energy into a force of compassion and strength. In a final, desperate act, Alexander unleashed a wave of pure self-acceptance, shattering the mirror of desire and banishing the master of illusions and his followers into the void from which they came. The temple crumbled around them, but Alexander and his companions emerged victorious. As the dust settled, a wave of relief and gratitude washed over the kingdom. Alexandra, the prince who had once been consumed by illusion, had become the savior who shattered it, forever reminding his people of the power of self-awareness and the importance of embracing their true selves. But the victory was bittersweet. The mirror of desire may be destroyed, but the order of the veiled mirror was not. Somewhere they lurked, waiting for the opportunity to strike again. Alexander knew his journey was far from over. He had become a symbol of hope, a beacon of truth in a world where shadows still danced on the edges of reality. He vowed to continue his fight, protecting his kingdom and guiding others towards the path of self-discovery. The future remained uncertain, but Alexandra was prepared. He faced the dawn with a heart full of hope and a mind steadfast in his resolve. For he knew, now more than ever, that the greatest battle was fought not on the field, but within the depths of one's own being. And in that battle, Alexander stood as a champion of truth and self-acceptance, forever etched in the legend of the man who stared into the mirror and saw himself for who he truly was. Years passed, and Prince Alexander's reign ushered in an era of prosperity and peace. His self-awareness, once a burden, became a source of profound wisdom and empathy. He ruled with a steady hand, guided by the principles of truth and understanding. However, the whispers of the Order of the Veiled Mirror never truly faded. They lingered in the shadows, plotting their return. Their leader, the elusive Master of Illusions, had vowed revenge, his spirit festering in the darkness. One day, a mysterious artifact surfaced in the kingdom's marketplace, a fragment of the shattered Mirror of Desire. Its power, though weakened, held the potential to reawaken the order and plunge the kingdom into chaos once again. Sensing the growing threat, Alexander sought the counsel of his trusted advisors. Sage Alara, now a revered elder, revealed that the artifact held the key to permanently sealing the portal between the real world and the realm of illusions. Captain Marcus, hardened by years of service, proposed a bold plan to infiltrate the Order's hidden base and destroy the artifact before it could be fully restored. Lyra, however, cautioned against recklessness. She believed the Order would not act openly, preferring to manipulate events from the shadows. They needed a bait, a way to lure the Order out and expose their plans. Alexandra, drawing upon his years of experience and his understanding of the Order's methods, devised a daring strategy. He would announce a grand festival, a celebration of peace and unity, knowing that the Order would see it as an opportunity to sow discord and chaos. The festival commenced, a vibrant tapestry of music, dance, and laughter. But beneath the surface, a storm brewed. The Order, disguised amongst the revelers, began to weave their insidious magic, stirring up fear and distrust among the people. Alexandra, ever vigilant, observed the unfolding events with a keen eye. He saw through the Order's illusions and identified their key members. With a swift and decisive act, he apprehended the disguised cultists, revealing their true identities to the astonished crowd. The Order, caught off guard and facing public exposure, 
panicked. The master of illusions, his face contorted with rage, unleashed the full power of the artifact, ripping open a portal into the realm of illusions. A spectral army of distorted beings poured through the portal, their eyes burning with hatred and their claws dripping with darkness. The kingdom watched in horror as the two worlds collided. In that moment, Alexander knew this was the culmination of his journey. He had battled his own inner demons, faced the darkness within, and emerged stronger. Now, he stood as the guardian of his kingdom, ready to face the ultimate test. With a resolute heart, Alexander drew his sword and led the charge against the spectral army. His advisors stood beside him, their courage and loyalty unwavering. The battle raged, a clash of light and darkness, hope and despair. It was amidst this chaos that Alexander discovered a hidden strength within himself. He realized that the portal wasn't just a doorway to another realm, it was a reflection of his own desires and fears. By accepting these parts of himself, he could gain control over the illusions and turn them against his enemies. With a surge of newfound power, Alexander channeled his inner strength, shattering the illusions and pushing back the spectral army. He then turned his focus on the master of illusions, their battle becoming a dance of shadows and light. In the end, Alexander emerged victorious. The master of illusions, defeated and weakened, was banished back into the portal, which sealed behind him with a resounding echo. As the dust settled and the threat subsided, a wave of relief washed over the kingdom. Alexander stood tall, a beacon of hope and a testament to the power of self-acceptance. He had not only saved his kingdom, but also conquered his own inner demons. Years later, Prince Alexander became known as the Mirror King, a ruler lauded for his wisdom, compassion, and unwavering courage. His legacy served as a reminder that the greatest battles are fought within, and that the path to true victory lies in accepting all parts of ourselves, both light and shadow. And so, the story of the prince who stared into the mirror and saw himself for who he truly was became a legend, whispered through generations, a reminder that the greatest strength lies not in denying our desires, but in accepting and embracing them. For in doing so, we discover the true heroes that reside within us all. With the portal sealed and the order of the veiled mirror vanquished, peace once again reigned over the kingdom. Alexandra, forever changed by his ordeal, ruled with wisdom and compassion, guiding his people towards a brighter future. He had learned that true power lies in accepting all aspects of oneself, embracing both light and shadow. He had become a beacon of hope and inspiration, reminding everyone that the greatest battles are fought within and that the path to true victory is paved with self-acceptance. Years passed, and tales of the Mirror King echoed through the ages, a testament to his courage and self-awareness. His story became a symbol of hope, reminding everyone that even in the darkest moments, the light within us all can shine through. And so I invite you, dear viewers, to reflect on your own journey of self-discovery. Have you faced your own mirror of desire? Have you confronted the shadows within yourself? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let us embark on this journey of self-exploration together. But before you go, please consider subscribing to our channel. We strive to bring you stories that not only entertain, but also inspire introspection and self-awareness. With your support, we can continue to create content that makes a positive impact. Together, let us embrace the shadows, celebrate the light, and discover the heroes within ourselves.